All right, the fancy graphic for Kirishima there. And he mounts the Dokyo, the raised clay ring to take on Sekewake Daisho today on day 13. Daisho already has his Kachikoshi. He's 8-4. And, and, of course, Kirishima is 10-2 and, and tied for the lead right now with Tommy Fuji. If he wins, he'll stay there on top of the leaderboard, co-leader. If he loses, he'll go into the three-loss group with uh, Koto... No, nobody. Right, wait. <laughs> Why can't I not keep this straight? Uh, yeah, nobody, because Ichi Yamamoto is out of it. Yeah, he'd be all alone in a three-loss group. One off the pace. There's his opponents and wins and losses to bring him to 10-2. and two. And a lot of you, uh, when I asked who you thought would win the U show, a lot of you are saying you think it's going to be Kirishima's here in November in Fukuoka. And I don't disagree. I think he has a very, very good chance. Uh, but we don't know who he's going to fight tomorrow. He should have to fight uh, Taki Keisho and Hoshoru, right? Because he hasn't fought either of those guys yet. Am I, am I forgetting? Hold on, let me just double check. Yeah, he fought Kota Nawaki, he fought Wakamatsu Haru. Now he's fighting Daisho, that's the other Sekiwake. Yeah, he hasn't fought either of the other two Ozeki yet, so that should be his Saturday and Sunday. Should be Hoshodu and Taki Keisho. But one of those guys is going to get a fifth loss today, so they might just not have him fight Kirishima, and I think they're going to give him a Tommy Fuji instead. Uh, so that's my prediction. We'll see if I'm right tomorrow or later tonight. Okay, looking at the contest through day 12, going into today, day 13, uh, 46 points would put you at the top of the leaderboard in the channel contest. And we have three people there, a son of HUD, JLC59, and Methuselah. Uh, and then in second place, 17 people tied for second with 45 points, and 21 people tied for third place with 44 points. Not even going to tell you where I am. If you want to go look <laughs> way, way down, uh, the link will be in the final match of the day, uh, Taki Keisho Hoshodru match. So, gambate to everybody. Uh, some good prizes to give away. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I think there's been some surprising results. And I do have a Tommy Fuji on my team who's doing well for me. But I also have Wakamoto Haru, who is not. <laughs> um, okay, I think that's about it from me. This one is ready to go. Oh, no. No, no, wait. Nope, they're going to throw salt one more time. All right. After this final match of the day, are you going to watch? I think most of you are going to watch. Uh, Taki Keisho's matches have been getting quite a lot of views. But... Uh, it seems like people follow wrestlers more than they follow necessarily who's going to win, you know, who's in the lead. Um, if you like, you know, Hoshoder, you're going to watch every one of his matches no matter what his record is type of thing. And I understand that. Uh, so, but uh, this is huge you show implications if you were to lose here to Dae show. And that would put a Tommy Fuji all alone. And, uh, and man, I would think the nerves would have to start. They always say, you know, the wrestlers when they're interviewed that they're not thinking about the U show and stuff, but you know they have to be a little bit. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so I'm 94% sure <laughs> that Kirishima is going to fight a Tommy Fuji either tomorrow or Sunday. And then he'll have to fight the Ozeki that wins today out of Hoshoru Takakesho uh, as his other opponent. And, uh, yeah, I mean, 
there could still be a playoff. You, you know, there's all kinds of permutations that could still happen, but uh, that match will probably decide who's going to win the U show. Okay, come on back. Final match of the day coming up.